Hello everyone, Virgo, cross watchers, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining in. This message is going to be as above, so below for Virgo, the sign of Virgo. If you find this message is helpful or that it resonates with your situation, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, for information on how to enter into the drawing for a free personal reading, that information is in the description box, along with how to book a personal reading. So, Virgo, let's get started. The messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person more than welcome to check other signs within your birth chart. It's all really all about the title with my messages. Um, if there's something in the title that resonates, there's most likely something in the message. Um, but that's not always the case. Magician, Ace of Winter, The Lovers. Unity is the Hierophant. I feel like there's some indecision that's holding you back, first of all. Try not to be caught up on the challenges that you have to face. Try to focus on the outcome. Also, there's a need for communication, communicating clearly, okay? Ultimately, with the cards that are coming out here so far, I feel like what you're headed for is a soulmate connection. Now, this could have been somebody that you've already met. Um, Going to get a little bit more clarity here. The Spellcaster's Tarot. I feel like you've gone into this hermit mode and the hermit is coming out in what needs to be released. So I feel like it's, it's time to release this. It's time to You've learned everything that you needed to learn going within. I feel like that you've done the work that you needed to do. Um, now it's time to move forward. There's a lot of sadness, a lot of heartache. I feel like you may still feel tied to a past situation. That very well could be the soulmate connection. That connection that you're feeling tied to that you just can't release. There's still some work that needs to be put in before you're ready for this union, though. Because even though we meet our soulmate, even though we come on the path of our soulmate, it doesn't mean this person is ready to come into union. It also doesn't mean we're ready ourselves to come into union. And the sense that I'm getting here, Virgo, is... And even if you guys are in a type of a union... I feel like there's still lessons that needed to be learned before you guys fully bring in that spiritual union partnership. Communication is going to be key here.
One thing I do see here is something that needs to be worked on, worked out is your financial goals, your career goals. Um, getting clear on the path that you want to take within your finances, within your career. And bringing that into fruition is going to help clear the confusion within yourself. Now, Virgo, clearing this confusion um, by getting clear on the goals that you need for yourself. What goals do you need financially? What goals do you need mentally, you know, emotionally? Um, the self-discovery, self-healing journey. What steps do you want to take to be the perfect partner that you envision? This is the emperor, um, a life of luxury, organization, um, structure. The nine of autumns in this deck symbolizes being successfully self-employed. So I feel like there's something within business that you need to work on, something within your goals, within your career. Um, this very well could be a business idea or building your hobby to that self-employment status. We have hope and light, the star and the sun. I do feel like there's going to be, there is hope within the situation. There's going to be light brought into the situation, success, abundance, victory. All these things are setting this firm foundation, the solid foundation for your future. But Virgo, there are some things that you still need to heal from, from your past, as well as your partner. What I feel like this reading is, t is signifying, Virgo, is focusing on self, on the things that we can control, Focusing on our goals, our careers, our finances, um, self-discovery journey, self-healing journey. Understanding that what's meant to be is going to be in our lives regardless um, of the current circumstance. And standing in that. I do, I am getting this big sense here, Virgo, that in order to bring in any type of soulmate connection, spiritual union, um, you are going to have to be financially stable. I feel like this person isn't going to even entertain this idea unless this business is solid, the self-employment is solid, Okay. So take these steps and focus on the goals, releasing the past, um, doing the inner work as well as the outer work. So that way when this person comes back around or this person comes into your life, you're ready. You're ready for this connection. You'll know when it's time, Virgo. Also, that's the message I have for you, Virgo, right now. Um, I am I, so appreciative you guys this week have shown out on the views. So thank you guys so much. I will be doing a special reading just for Virgos for all the love and appreciation that was shown on the channel. So thank you guys so much for that. Virgo. Recap. Focus on your goals, self-discovery, self-healing, the things that you can control. Being ready when it's time for this union to come into connection. Okay? So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.